Hey ham fam, thank you for joining me today. So for today's video, I'm gonna be giving Albus a cage clean and a little rearrange. It's been a little while now, so he's definitely due a full cage clean out. Um, and I'm quite excited really to just rearrange things and see and come up with like a new little cage design for him. I've also done a little order, which hopefully should be arriving in the next few days. So if all goes to plan next week, I'll have a little haul video coming out for you all as well. Well, um, but today we are going to be getting started with Albus's cage. So first of all I need to grab Albus and pop him into his little pet carrier and get him nice and comfy. So to start off I'm going to take out all of his items that are currently in his cage and pop them into this little storage box I've got next to me. Um, I like to do this before I try and find Albus just because at the moment I know he is sleeping. I do try not to disturb him as much as possible but when I'm doing full cage cleanouts, I do have to wake him up a little bit earlier um, but he's very good so as soon as I put him back into his little pet carrier he tends to bury himself over and go back to sleep within about a minute so I never really worry about him too much I know he'll just go straight back to sleep and he doesn't really find it stressful it doesn't really bother him at all so he is happy in his little pet carrier while I'm cleaning him out Albus is all settled the first thing that I'm going to do is just go through and take out all of the dirty tea bag bedding that is in here so when I'm doing half cage cleans I won't take all of the tea bag bedding out but today as he is due a full clean I'm going to be removing all of this however I am going to be leaving still quite a lot of the Orbeos bedding so that he will still have his scent in the cage um, and I'm just going to be topping it up with some nice clean bedding Now, Albus does tend to make a little bit of a mess over in this corner where he sleeps, so I'm just gonna give this a spray with the Johnson's Clean and Safe Pet Disinfectant Spray that I got from Pets at Home. I leave it to sit for about five minutes before I wipe it over with some kitchen towel just to remove any of the dirty stains that are there. Now that that's clean it is time to add in some more bedding so at the moment I'm using both Orbeos bedding and uh, tea bag bedding so I use the Orbeos on the whole of the bottom of the cage just as like a kind of crumb layer essentially and on one side I'll really build it up and then on the opposite side I will build up the tea bag bedding so that it's nice and comfy for him as well.
it is time for the fun bit. So I did clean all of Albus's toys, but I decided to do this off camera today. So they are all clean and I'm just gonna arrange where I want everything to go. I also added in some of the colorful Carefresh bedding into the corner, just to give it a little pop of color over there where I'm gonna add in his little corner hideaway. Um, and I'm gonna decide where I want every other little bit to go. Once I've placed all of the larger items, I'm now going to start to add in all of the small little bits like his chew toys, a few little treats for him to find and his water and food dishes. And I'm also going to add in his hanging treats just to the top of his cage as well. For his sand bath, I'm just using the Pets at Home Desert Sand. So this is the one with no added calcium or any dyed colours to it, so it's perfectly safe for him. I've decided today to give him two sand baths, so he's got another smaller one just up at the top of the cage, um, as he really loves digging around in his sand. We are all done, so I've also added in some herbs for him to find and a few little treats scattered around for when he goes back into his cage. But this is what I've decided to do this time for his cage design. I hope you all like it. Um, so all there is left to do now is to wake Albus up from his little nap and pop him back into his cage. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment and subscribe down below for more hamster content and I will see you all next time. Bye!